Hey, 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 everybody. How you doing? This is Noelle, Farm Girl Scavenger, and I just wanted to put a video out here on some what solds from January 7th to today, which is January 20th. I went on vacation. I took my grandson, Dren, who is eight, down to LA to visit his dad because he's only seen him for about 24 hours since September and we had a blast. Now, I was told by many different people not to expect to find anything in the Goodwills down there because they were all overpriced and I'm cheap. Not only am I cheap, I get a lot of stuff for free. So I was told that more than likely I would not be able to find anything that would fall into my wheelhouse of buy low and sell for a decent profit or high. Um, so I nobody challenged me, nobody nothing. It's not ego. It's not about anything. It's about going back and watching some of my Let's Talk About It videos. I have a playlist on my channel. I do them live on Thursday nights. I took last Thursday night off. This is Thursday morning going to try to do a video tonight. No promises. I'm tired and I have a lot of work to do. Um, it was a, about a, an 18 hour drive and we did it straight through only stopping for gas and to go to the bathroom and, and take the dog potty. So did I sell anything? I did. Did I buy anything? I really did. As a matter of fact, you know what? Tonight on Let's Talk About It, let's do Let's talk about sourcing in LA with Farm Girl Scavenger. So we'll do that. Um, look forward to that. I'll try to get this out, this video right here out as soon as possible. Anywho, so I put my store on time away. There are several different time aways you can use. One, you can just put it on time away and it hides all of your listings. Two, you can put it on time away and it shows your listings and allows people to buy them for up to 15 consecutive days. That's what I chose because I wanted to still be making money and sales while I was on the road. And then so I put it on time away from January 7th to January 21st. I also put my son's store on sale, same time frame. He also sold a couple, we sold a couple of things out of his store. So then when you get back, <clears throat> It, eBay automatically sends a message, lets them know that, that it, it, the shipping won't, will be delayed because the store is on time away, the seller is on time away. When you get back and you turn your store off, you just go back down to time away. It's in your seller hub, all the way down at the bottom into your shortcuts, there's a thing that says time away. When you get back, you go right back to time away and you go into the thing, that's the what you selected that says what your time away is, click that and it says um, turn time away off and it starts everything back up. And I did that last night and I had one sale this morning when I woke up. So did I sell something every day? I did not. Did I have good sales while I was gone? I think so. Um, I was gone from the 7th and I came back on the, we came back yesterday was night, the 7th through the 18th. Cause I turned my store back on last night. I had to sleep. Um, so the 7th through the 19th, so that's 12 days, right? 12 days. I had 12 days, uh, I was I was on time away. I had 12 sales, totaling $717.70. Um, average sale price was right at, this is before taxes, fees, or anything. I didn't pull up that list, so just understand that. I, I also do not do free shipping, so all of my, um, all of my sales are going to have the shipping, taxes, everything included. So I'm not talking, I'm not talking, talking net prices here, and normally I give you all of that didn't have time to do it today. I have a lot of stuff going on as we all do. So my net sales 
or my, wow, what the word is, my total sales for 12 days were $717.71. I sold 12 items. My cost of goods for those 12 items was $9.59. My um, total sales minus the cost of goods was $708.12. That includes everything. Fees, everything. That is not net. I'm the, the word I'm looking for escapes my mind, and it's stupid, but that's where I'm at with exhaustion. Um, anyway, and then like I said, my average sale price for each one of these items for those 12 items was, I think it was $59.09. .09. So we'll just round that down to $59 is my average sale price for these 12 items. So um, anyway, and then if you want to see that, there it is. That's the total sales. That's my cost of goods. That's the sales after cost of goods are taken out. And that's the time frame from when I was on time away. So, two of the items I'm going to show you, I actually sourced in California. I found some of them. Dren found some of them. We went to... I feel like we went to two Goodwills, but I know we went to one for sure. It had a bin attached. We went to the main store. It was at Water Center. Um, I guess I was told that, that that's one of the very ritzy ones. Um, anyway, they wouldn't let Dren into the bins because they have a 12 year old, poli nobody under 12 policy. So we were good with that, but we found some amazing items at that store. And I, and like I said, I'll, I, I already have a video for it. I haven't put it out. That won't be in the hall tonight. Um, but I'll give you a quick look. I saw this print and I was like, that's cool. It was $14.99. Get a little closer. It's numbered. Um, anyway, so I Google lensed it because that's what I do. And this artist that's listed in my store if anybody should want it. Um, why can't I think of his name off the top of my head right now? Anyway, he's pretty well known. He passed away, I believe last year. And that same exact print, which is called the Lion Tamer, somebody has for sale on Etsy for $275. There isn't another one. I wouldn't have known the name of that one, except for theirs actually had the actual certificate of authenticity on the back. Um, so they had it all, which was great. That's how you do research, you guys. So that is listed in my store right now, that print. The one on Etsy looks ex exactly like it. Same frame, same everything. I have that listed in my store for $299.99 plus shipping. Now it'll go on sale here and there. If I get that price, that's great. But that's about what that print right there looks to be going for and he has other um quite a few he's very well known sorry i can't remember his name um wait w-a-i-t i think um anyway so that'll all be in but you can go look at my store if you want to link is down below it's also if you go to the end of if you go to my about page, all the links to all of my stores and social media are in there. And by the way, like, comment, and subscribe. I never say that. I'm at, I'm, I'm less than 100 away from 2,000 subscribers, and I picked up some goodies at Legoland that I'm going to um, give away when I hit 2K. So, there you go. All right, let's get into this. So, the first item that I'm going to show you, and we're going backwards from last night, is actually when this sold. They paid for it this morning. We're going to go backwards. Um, no, I can go forward. Let's go to the, 
First item that sold. We're in the car heading down to LA and I sold this. Levine Levine Chicago Sympathy Sympathy Petroshuka Complete Ballet 1947 cassette. This was my grandfather's. It was free to me. Um, they are $15.31 all in. At that point, they knew they were going to have to wait until the 21st for that to be shipped to them. So that was, I was, I was high, I was amazed. Tooling along, I just had these in my hand the day before when I had done shipping. These are some of the first items I listed in 2017 when I first, when I really got back into selling. These are a pair of the Children's Place. Oh, I need to get over here so that I can put the listing up there. The Children's Place. Oh, I'm not going to do that because if I do that, I'm going to have time. The Children's Place. Baby Girls Pink Suede Mary Jane Shoes, size 0 to 6 months. I had these listed for $9.99. Like I said, they've been listed forever. Was sorely tempted to just take them out, but how much space do they take? None. They weigh 2 ounces. If that these sold for a total of sixteen dollars and twenty three cents shipped so there you have it it's 2017 2018 2019 2020 2021 those have been listed for five years it cost me anything third thing that sold if you guys don't know about these then this is a bolo for you this was given to me free this summer I've had it listed for a while. I would not budge on the price, and you'll you'll understand why. This is a Steinbach. Steinbach. Um, it's got a particular name. Let me look here. Chubby Nutcracker. Um, Mel Mel Melon Choir. It's twelve and a half inches. C plus M plus B Melon Choir S. 1862 that's the number uh, I mean 1862 these are all numbers on it number 2250 these are numbered it has its hang tag it does not have the box there's absolutely nothing wrong with it like I said this is little your Stein box will have all of this on it everything you need is right there the reason why I did not budge on the price on this is because it was the only one out there. So, I just waited and waited. Second day, this sold on uh, the 8th. They are $208.30 all in with shipping on that. And like I said, that was free. Can't beat that. Alright, the next two items are very interesting. This is a mid-century modern eagle design. See that? Bottle opener and wine cork. Corkscrew. Yep. Missing an eye. See that? Isn't that wood great? There are no, there's no damage to the beak. It's just in great. It's, it's only eight inches, you guys. So last summer, as you guys all know, those of you that know me, I went to Rochester, New York, and I spent time with my friend Jan. And I um, met up with, uh, Jan was nice enough to let me use her car and drive down to Syracuse, New York, to meet with my buddy Dom, Dominic. Caron from Primetime Treasure Hunter, and he, myself, Emily Conway, Tracy from 1987 Ventures, her partner Eric, um, the silent part of 1987 Ventures, and Chris from Crispy's Toys and Treasures. We all met up and went to an estate sale. Now, those guys ditched us. Um, everybody ditched. Emily had her little girl, and, and so she didn't find anything, and she left. But she came back and had lunch with us later. Dominic and I did video, and there are two videos of this sale where you see me getting this on his channel. I will link them below, or maybe I won't. 
We'll see. I'd like to get this video out. So the more time I have to spend on it, the less time I'm going to have getting to it. But go look at Dominant. I also, uh, I have a playlist on my channel. I get around is the name of it. And both of those videos should be in there. Two parts. Or you can go check out Dominic primetime, or you can go check out Dominic on his channel, the primetime treasure hunter. Okay. That way I don't have to put all these links in and I can come back and put them in later. So this was in a box under the counter in the kitchen. It was marked 50 cents. I sold this for um, $96 and 49 cents all in. It is going to the USSR. On top of that, same buyer came back the next day. This was this, that, that sold on the January 10th. And this sold on January 12th. <clears throat> Didn't even realize it was the same buyer until this morning. This is a Sirocco wood. Sirocco was made in Syracuse, New York. This is an ashtray. It has its original glass thing. It says Fisherman's Wharf, San Francisco, California. Ashtray cigar. It's more for cigars. And it has a bear on it. So I don't know if you know, the bear is a Russian symbol as well, right? It's not, it's not very big, you guys. That's, the, that's my hand. So that sold for $68 shipped. I will combine the two of these in one package um, and save on shipping and fee, fees and stuff like that. Will I reimburse? Maybe, maybe not. Sometimes I do. But, um... The reason why I say maybe, maybe not is because they didn't even send me a note, send me a message, anything saying, if I hadn't have seen that this morning, I would have packed two packages, but I saw it. So most of the time, um, with combined shipping, I will reimburse if it's over $3, but that's where that is. All right. What's the next thing that sold? New unopened package of Lowenbrow coasters. There's a hundred in here. They're from 2007. These are free to me. These sold for $32 and 36 cents all in shipped. All right. People think so. This I probably could have gotten more money for. Um, I believe I took an offer on it. I believe I had it listed for $59.99. Doesn't matter. I paid maybe 50 cents for it. I bought this along with the Russian bear. This is a cigar holder matchstick. Your matchbooks would go right there. It has the original glass. A lot of these do not. This has the Masonic symbol in it. And this sold for a total of $62 and six, 23 cents shipped. So can't beat that. This is a paintbrush. This paintbrush I bought at an estate sale in California. I bought a two gallon bag for $15 that had about 40 paintbrushes. It had watercolor tubes. They were beyond savable. And, and trust me, I know you can still sell them. Couldn't open them. They would have had to been cut open. I wasn't about to deal with that. There was a pencil case that also had um, graphite, specific graphite um, pencils in it and sharpeners and erasers. I took the pencils out, listed those separately, gave Dren the, um, the case and the sharpener because he bought some colored pencils. So he was pretty happy with that. This is a M. Grumbacher, New York, 626B, made in the USA. Oop. Size 14. Let's see. Can you guys see that? Is that upside down? It is. Because why wouldn't it be? All right, see that? 
really good shape. I listed this high. Okay, so fifteen dollars. I've only I've got one a couple others listed, or maybe they're not, but I got a couple others. I have a uh, twenty, right around twenty more to list, and most of them are done. I just need to take photos. So that M Grumbucker New York paintbrush six twenty six B number fourteen made in the USA sold for twenty nine dollars and seventy cents shipped and it's going right back down to California not very far from where I bought it I'll tell you the honest truth that cracked me up so these two items right here I purchased in California they're both going back to California that's where it's at all right oh I guess I hadn't shown this this is a Matt, how do I say this? I had, I need some glasses. Matroshoka Russian artist signed hand painted babushka baker nesting doll single. And I put the baker in there because she's got a loaf of bread in her hands. I haven't, I did a lot of research. This style, see how tall and slender it is? Couldn't even find any. Couldn't find any listed. Couldn't find any on North Point like this. The one I found similar to it was huge. And it was to hold a liquor bottle. So I just deduced in my little brain that this is about the size to hold one of those single serve liquor bottles, right? It is artist signed. Um, it's uh, it was not easy. It's in very good condition. Dren found this on the shelf at, at Salvation Army. We paid 99 cents for her. I listed her. She sold the next day. I, don't, she, I mean, I listed her at night, went to bed. It was like 2 o'clock in the morning. When I woke up, she had sold $37.80. So... You don't have to have the whole set. You don't have to have the full set. You don't have to know what they were used for. You don't need to know when they were made. You just need to have the all the correct. You need to know what it is. Is it artist signed? If it was made in China, it's not from Russia. It's not from Germany. Some of these, some of these sets were made in Japan. Anyway, there you have it. 99 cents. Dren found this, brought it to me. He goes, Nanny, you can sell this. Kids listening. $37.80 all in. Going right back down to California. All right. This is a set of Hallmark Keepsake Miniature Ornaments from 1997. There are 21 of them. And I put, here's my title. So if you guys want to do this. Hallmark Keepsake Miniature Ornaments, 1997. Large lot of 21 vintage cake toppers. Because people use these for cake toppers. Now some of these are duplicates because I just put all the, I had so many. I paid 25 cents a piece for these. I have $5.25 into this. These sold for $93.41 shipped. Now, if I wanted to list every one of these sing singularly, I could maybe get seven or eight bucks, depending on what they are. I don't have time for that. The ones that I have, uh, and I have multi I have lots from clear back to when they started, up to 2001 or something like that. I forget. Um, anyway, so I figured if I could get three dollars and fifty cents a piece that I was good with that. Now, if somebody else wants, I have more lots in there. Feel free to go buy them. You can still make money on them. Um, and that's where that is. So $93.41 shipped. The next item is a four vintage McNess champion brand wonder toffee champion brand. Um, they're vintage um, 
extracts. But I'm not selling them for the extracts. If somebody's buying them for the extracts, that's their I, that's their thing. I paid um, a, a quarter piece. There's one. There's two. Um, there's three. I'm trying to think if this this one's pineapple. These are both pineapple. And there's four. Wonder flavor. The mystery flavor. Anyway, I got those at an estate sale that I went to shortly after I came back from, from Rochester. So I have a dollar into that. Those sold for $35.78. Shipped. And then the last thing that sold is this little tea. I put fairy lamp in there because why not? It's a keyword. This is Cashmere Macy's Fairy Tea Light Lamp Christmas Holly Fine Porcelain Holiday Japan. This sold for $22.63. I don't think I have 50 cents into there into it. That's what I it, it still has the candle in it. Um so there you have it. It's tiny. I bought a whole three two different sets of Christmas stuff. They mixed it all together. And they had it all for $35. I paid 50% off because I bought it on the last day. And so that brings it down to $17.50. And there, there were, I don't know, close to 70 pieces. I don't know. I have, I, I figured I have about 50 cents into that piece right there. So there you have it. There are my 12 items that I sold this over the last 12 days while I was on vacation, while I had my store on time away. So, can you do it? You sure can. Should you do it? That's your choice. In my opinion, why not? Um, now I have to get this all, get these all packaged up. My son also sold two items. I've already packaged them up. He sold um, a set of two Magic the Gathering cards for $10.60 shipped. And he sold a set of two 1999 Kellogg's Mini Beans, Sesame Street, Ernie, and Tweedlebug. These are miniature beanie, bean ba beanie babies. They're about that big. Those sold for $21.05 shipped. So... What's funny about that is he hasn't listed anything in his store since September and still selling stuff and on time away. So do yourself a favor if you have a store and you have that option to do time away and you're going away and you're going to be only gone for 15 days, then there you go. There's ways around that 15 days things too. So, you know, you can go in and edit your time away after you've been gone. I know because I did it. So I added an extra day on. Um, anyway, you would edit your start time and then you would edit your end time. Wait five days. You're going to be gone for 20 days. Do the 15 days. After five days is up, go back in and, and edit it and change your end date and your beginning date. It's that simple. So, all right. I hope that gave you guys some food for thought and using the time away. And don't be afraid of it. It works great. I used it last summer when I went to Rochester. I had absolutely zero issues with it. And it just gives you the opportunity to be um, making money while you're gone. So um, I hope that I showed you some things that you wouldn't normally think of selling. Things that you wouldn't normally think of even picking up.
Did I even tell you guys that he's missing an eye? So there you have it. All right, you guys. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Do what you do. Do what you do best. If it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe, I don't normally ask. I've been told I need to start doing it, so every once in a while I'll ask. Have a great rest of your day. I hope to see you. I hope to get this out tonight. It is Thursday, um, the 20th, and I hope to see you guys tonight on my channel for a live, and we'll do a live thrift haul from my trip down to California. I went to three estate sales. I went to the LA flea market. I went to two Salvation Armies and one Goodwill. So there you have it. Um, all right. Farm Girl Scavenger.